Backyarders and hello YouTube community. This is Jeff from Perfect Q Cooking Channel. Today we are not making meat, believe it or not. We're gonna make something that looks kind of like it. How about some barbecue jackfruit? Yes, I did say jackfruit. So here's our mise en place. Let's start over on this side. This isn't necessarily in order, but we made our own rub last year. We did pretty well. Um, got placed a couple times in at second places and that. So catch scratch fever is gonna be that. And we need, I believe, about three quarter, uh, oh no, a quarter cup of this. And then we need um, barbecue sauce. We're just using some off shelf stuff. And we're gonna use a three quarter cup of that. And then we've got some maple syrup, but actually this is for the avocado salad we've talked about as well. All of this will be either the jackfruit or the avocado salad. Jackfruit comes in a can like this. This one got dented, I guess. But it, it says not to do it with uh, jackfruit and brine, but we're gonna rinse it real well, and I don't think that's gonna be an issue. I've uh, got some fresh buns here. Got a half a cup of cashews. We've got some lime. We've got a avocado for the avocado salad. And I guess the coleslaw I forgot to mention over here. So the next clip, we're gonna be starting to put together the jackfruit. All right, so what we're gonna do is we've got two cans of uh, the jackfruit here, 20 ounce. That's what the recipe calls for. Sarah and I have never used this before. I don't know what's gonna happen when I open this can. So let's try it. Let's take the first one. It calls for draining it and then drying it. And then in the next uh, steps, we'll talk about how we're gonna cut some parts of that jackfruit off of there as well. Okay. Doesn't really smell like anything. So what I'm gonna do is go over the sink and, and get rid of most of this liquid first. And what we're gonna do is we wanna make sure it's good and dry. And then after that, they're talking about the core. So I'm guessing what they're talking about is this piece right here. We're gonna cut that off. And then believe it or not, this is actually gonna shred like, like pork. Stay tuned. All right, so what we did now is we have taken and put it on the cutting board just under a towel. Uh, the recipe calls for us drying this off very thoroughly. So I just basically got a wad of paper towels here and I'm gonna go through and dry this off thoroughly. I'm gonna do this one side and then I'll flip them all over and do it again. And the next step will probably show you how we're gonna be cutting the cores out of it. All right, so the next step is then to take and cut the core off. As you can see how this is, and this is what's actually gonna make it, give it the consistency of pork. See how it kind of pulls apart? But we're gonna to wanna to cut this off, the core section of it. So I think it's just simply doing this and see once that's removed, how this is starting to kind of feather apart and look like shredded something yet. <laughs> so anyway, we'll do a couple more, but again, you know, you don't wanna cut it. You wanna make sure you cut enough off of there. We'll do a little bit more on the end. So this starts to, I'm just gonna say starts to feather apart. So we're gonna go ahead and cut all the rest of these up and then the next step we'll show you what we're doing with this. All right, so the next step here is going to be just simply taking the jackfruit. Um, I don't know how much you have to actually pull it apart, but we're gonna do that a little bit here. This piece, I think you're gonna run into this. Obviously you can't use that. Uh, looks like some of the fruit has that. Looks like like a little bulb or something maybe. Is that maybe a seed? I don't know. Again, we're both new at this and excited to try it. So basically what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna take the quarter cup of uh, barbecue seasoning that Sarah and I made for last year, put that in there, and we're just gonna basically toss this. Okay. We've got that done. Now, let's see, is the sauce next? Go ahead and put it in the frying pan. And you've got that heated up already for me. We do need to put the olive oil in. One tablespoon, is that what we've got here? Okay, just put it right in there. We're hot, yep. Do that sizzling. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and put the three, three quarter cup of barbecue sauce and then we've added water to thin it out a bit. We're gonna dump it in here and I'm gonna mix it. And once I've got it mixed, then we're gonna put it on a low heat for about 20 to 30 minutes. All 
All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the uh, avocado salad sauce. And what we need to do is, uh, and it doesn't necessarily be in this exact order, but I think I'm gonna start with the lime. You're basically gonna cut it in half, and what you wanna do is you wanna juice this lime. So, let's take and do this. like this tool because you can see it all the pulp stays behind. I'm gonna get the other one. Okay. Then we're gonna dump that in just like that. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the avocado, we're gonna cut that, take the seed out of there. To scoop that with a spoon that in here. These are good. This should be your butter. If you ever want to eat something healthy, eat these. All right, so there's that. Then we need the maple syrup. Okay. And then for water, it asks, it calls for some water, but even before I do that, I think I'm just gonna put in a little bit of salt and pepper. And after we make the sauce, we can taste test it if we feel it needs more of one or the other. Okay. Okay. This is gonna take a little bit of effort because we gotta break that avocado down to as small as we can to turn it into a, a liquid. Maybe I'll work on that and we'll uh, see you in the next clip. All right, so we've been at this a little bit. Uh, if you wanna use like an immersion blender or some sort of uh, something to whip it faster, but if you do enough with this after a while, you do get that creamy sauce. Uh, the small piece of avocado are gonna be just fine in this. So the next thing then is we're gonna take two cups of coleslaw salad or coleslaw mix, we'll call it. I would think we can either use this or another spoon to mix it. And then once this is mixed, we want to put it in the fridge and that can stay in there while we work on the other parts of the, or the final parts of, of the meal. Okay, so we're gonna make a topping out of, uh, these are raw cashews, uh, half a cup. They're gonna go ahead and go in the bowl here. And you don't have to roast your own, we just want to. <laughs> And um, oil, let's see, what was that again? Just a splash. Just kind of get enough in there to, to do that. And then we're gonna, we want the oil to stick to all the, the nuts in there. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in there. After this, we're gonna take a flat pan and we're gonna put them on the pan and spread them out 350 degrees for around 10 minutes. All right, so this is done. The 20 minute timer did go off for us. We're gonna go ahead and crank it up the heat a little bit to around medium, maybe a little more than that. And we're gonna do that for about two to three minutes. All right, you guys, so the moment of truth, our pulled pork, <laughs> our barbecue jackfruit. Smells great. Uh, if you were, if we had smell-o-vision, um, this with, right now smells just like pulled pork. It really does. So my wife knows how much I love making pulled pork. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and build the sandwich now. Uh, I'm just gonna take, I suppose, what? Maybe a scoop. You know, we wanna have a good, I suppose that, right? Yeah, that's good. And then we're gonna take and put some avocado slaw right on the top. It's to taste. And then what, a couple of the cashews. They are a little warm yet. They did just come out of the oven, but yeah. So guys, you're gonna see a meat eater trying this for the first time. Are you sure this isn't pork? 
I'm not kidding, guys. I would think, I would be, right now, I would think I'm eating pulled pork. I'm, I've cooked pork, made pork. I've got a sponsor that's pork. But, you know, it to me, it doesn't look anything. There's one of those bulbs again. Unbelievable. You gotta try this, you guys. I'm gonna post the recipe in the description. There is an author that did create this, Minimalist Baker, Minimalist? Minimalist Baker. Thank you, that person. So they will get credit, but we are gonna put this in our description and we are gonna do this again. This is absolutely amazing. Cheers, Backyarders, cheers, YouTube.